All right, off the um, hot off the press here, we have our March market report, which is going to show our residential stats for Rochester, Minnesota through the month of February. So we wait a few days to get into February to make sure all the stats get calculated properly. And here is the results of what is going on in the um, Rochester market for residential stats only. So if we take a peek here, we're gonna look at year-to-date home sales. Currently, we are at 179. That is down almost 10% from last year, which was 198. And then if we look at 2012, 194. And then we'll go all the way back to 2009 here. So 141, 130, 156. So we're up versus those three years, but we are down versus the last two, and that is something we wanna keep an eye on. And we know we've had a pretty brutal winter, so we just wanna keep an eye on the home sales, see if there's some change in um, that pace to see if we outpaced last year and then also the year before. If we take a look at the year-to-date home price, we are at 181. That is actually up from last year, which was at 177 through February. And then in 2012, we were at 173, 165, 167, 160 in 2009. So that is one of the categories that is up versus all of those years. Now, if we look at the average days on the market, this, you're going to start to see some um, interesting numbers here for our um, Rochester market. So we're at 88 sold days on the market for anything that is sold through February. And then last year we were at 116, so down 24% in just one year's time. And then 134, 153 in 2011. So basically the half the amount of time a home is sitting on the market um, from 2011. 2010, we're at 145. 2009, we're at 125. And here is the driving factor for that, our active inventory. And this is, a, this is becoming a broken record, but this is another all-time low. We were at 439 homes on the market. We're coming into our spring market. If you are contemplating putting your home on the market, there is no better time than right now. We have 439 homes. That's down 24% or 23.25 from last year where we had 572. This is the reason why these average days on the market are so far down and the values are up. This is also probably a reason why the sales are down. Not only has the weather been pretty harsh this year, but we just don't have enough inventory to be selling at the same pace that we did in the last two years. If we look at our inventory in 2011, we have half that amount of inventory from just two, uh, three years ago. 2012, we were at 703. Again, that's almost half. So again, if you tried to sell back then, look at how much more competition you had. 2010, there was 1,031 homes in the market. We have 439. Just take a look at that number. That's a four-year span, and we're down almost 600 homes in four years in our inventory. 2009, we were at 923. So again, some very um, interesting numbers just to take a peek at, and it's going to be interesting to watch how this all unfolds this year, and stay tuned. We're going to keep you guys posted on all of this. And here's some um, more historical stuff here as well. We're just going to look at in a graphic form so you can see the trends of what has happened. So it's sold listings since 2008. There was the dip and then it picked up and now we have dipped a little bit. So again, that's something we're going to keep an eye on here as well and watch those key factors. But this is another interesting one here is average sale price. Look at the value of the homes in 2008 and then it just dropped tremendously and then all of a sudden picked right back up here in 2013 and 14 and it is still um, picking up here. Again, that's something we're going to watch as well throughout the year. We've only had two months of data to compare, but we just want to keep an eye on all of that. Average days on the market, again, just unbelievably low there at 88, where we were at 116 last year. Um, in 2011, basically double that, and then our inventory. And this is just absolutely shocking to look at how severe of a downturn that is in just a matter of four years. So we were at 1,031 down to 439. So again, coming into the best market, the best time of the year is the spring market and we have this low of inventory, it is definitely an opportunity for you to list your home and have little competition and be able to hold your own versus those buyers right now. So I'll just do a historical inventory. This goes all the way back to February 2009. You can see the dips, and this is that spring market because this is when the inventory picks up. You can see every year there's that big pickup right around February through April. It picks up because that's that spring market. So that's when the inventory is going to come up, and then it dwindles up and then dwindles. But look at how little that upturn has been in the last few um, years. It's a little less severe versus the 2010 than 2012. 2013 was, I mean, it's, it's just changing the angle of that. And that's going to be interesting to see what happens here in 14 to see what we have with our inventory. If we look at actual um, price brackets, this is just showing you which price brackets are up versus last year. 
we can see that 100 to 119 is up 11%. Um, we've got 80 to 89,000 is up 38%. That's 11 sold this year versus eight. And then if we look at um, 120 to 140 basically is up 4%. And then we're also up 250 to 300 is up 14%. 300 to 400 is up 13%. And then the big one, um, 500 plus is up 67%. So that is a quick uh, wrap for the March uh, market report. Again, stay tuned because this is going to be interesting to watch this all unfold for 2014.